Bill crashes Kamala Harris for being full of on Israel, Middle East, just shut up. If that's what you have to say, don't say anything, Maher said as he reacted to Harris' Middle East plan. Real-time host Bill Maher had some harsh words for Vice President Kamala Harris, insisting she was full of when it comes to her Middle East policy. During Friday's panel discussion, Maher addressed what's widely believed to be Israel's stealth operation against Hezbollah in Lebanon by detonating their pagers and walkie-talkies this week that led to dozens of terrorist operatives killed and hundreds more injured. Here's what Kamala Harris said this week about what we should do when the war is over. No reoccupation of Gaza, no changing of the territorial lines of Gaza, and an ability to have security in the region for all concerned in a way that we create stability. I feel like if that's what you have to say, don't say anything. Just shut up, Meher reacted. I mean, everybody who talks about Israel these days is just so full of Meher said. I don't want children to die. Duh, who does? None of us want children to die. None of us want this war to go on, but it's not addressing what the problem is. He continued, the problem is that one side wants a two-state solution, or at least always did. It's a little more right-wing now, I'm talking about Israel, but that still has been their position. One side never did and still doesn't. One side uses terrorism to get their goals. One side retaliates against terrorism. One side is accused of genocide, but doesn't do it. The other side actually would love to do it. People keep saying Israel has the right to defend itself, and then whatever Israel does, they object to it. Despite his scolding, the liberal comedian is not only backing Harris ahead of the November election, he's already predicting her victory following her debate performance against former President Trump. I'm gonna make this a very momentous night with a prediction, Mayer said last week. Because I have the credibility for this prediction, because I had been called a Trump alarmist for a very long time. They were wrong, I was right. He wasn't gonna leave power. But ever since then, and since that Access Hollywood tape, and he survived that. Every time he's done crazy and gotten himself in trouble, I said no, no, it's not over. Tonight I'm saying, I think it's over, Mayer said, sparking cheers from his liberal audience.